Intro to Electrodynamics, Griffiths Chapter 2 Summary. Here we go. Uh, we're going to start off with the definition of electric field due to a point charge. Remember this relationship between the vector location of the charge, the observation location, and the vector between those two. That does get a little confusing. The book uses different notation. If I have a charge density using the superposition principle, I can find the electric field as an integral over that charge density. Uh, this is Gauss's law. This says that if I pick some flux over some imaginary surface that's related to the total charge enclosed in that surface, and that's the differential form of that, which says that the divergence is dependent on the charge density. Uh, this is the curl of the electric field, is zero, meaning is not curly at all. So from that, we can define electric potential as negative the integral of E dot DL. It's a path integral of the electric field. The negative comes from the definition of work. And it makes things easier. You don't actually have to put that in there. And we can also define electric potential as an integral over the charge density, just like we did with the electric field. Finally, if you have the uh, electric potential depends on the line integral, then the electric field is the divergence of the potential. Negative, though, because of that negative right there. If I put that into Gauss's law, negative the divergence of potential, I get this equation, which relates the potential to the charge. So you have those three things, electric field, electric potential, electric charge, and we have six ways to get from one to the other. So here's the equation to get the electric field from the charge density. Here's the equation to get the electric field from the electric potential. How do I get the electric, the charge density. Well, if I have the electric field in a different color, then I can use that to get the charge density. If I have the electric potential, I can use that to get the charge density. And finally, how do I get the electric potential? Well, they're both right there. I can get the electric potential from the electric field or from the charge density. Boom. Read the chapter. Talk to you later.